This is an introduction to kids judo, a fun and safe sport for boys and girls. This film was made primarily for parents interested in entering their kids into judo. Here's some old footage from the Kodokan in 1951 showing a teacher working out with some small kids. What is judo and how did it start? Judo was started by a young Japanese boy named Jigoro Kano. He was tired of being bullied, so he studied jujitsu. Jujitsu in the 1800s. Imagine a time without television, computers, video, smartphones, books with clear photographs. Jujitsu was studied from scrolls with a few drawings. You had to memorize what your teacher showed you. And here's some pictures from old jujitsu. These are drawings from some instructional scrolls. Jiu-Jitsu included a lot of self-defense. Some of these techniques are dangerous to practice. So Kano decided to eliminate the dangerous techniques and form his own method of Jiu-Jitsu. From Jiu-Jitsu to Judo, Kano took the best techniques from Jiu-Jitsu. In 1882, Kano, at the age of 22, established the Kodokan Judo system, which is made up of a sport and katas. Sport of Judo is the most exciting part of Judo. It uses throws and holding for all ages, choking for ages over 12, and arm locks for black belts in competition. Kata Judo are prearranged exercises covering old and modern self-defense. This includes some of the techniques that were taken out for the sport. It includes throwing and mat techniques and movement forms. Kano as the scholar. He studied politics, economics, philosophy, literature, English and German. He helped to include kendo and judo in the Japanese school system. He also represented Japan in the Olympic Committee. In 1936 in Berlin, he represented Japan. Here he is standing next to Jesse Owens, the gold medalist for the United States. Modern Kodokan Judo, one of the largest sports in the world except for the U.S. Local, national, and international competition is for juniors, seniors, and masters, including boys, girls, men, and women. In 1964, it became an Olympic sport. By the way, Japanese terms are used universally for judo training and competition. Now enjoy some scenes from national and international contests. Ichijima's dojo was referred to as a machi dojo, which means a village dojo. It was on the outskirts of Tokyo. This was one of the few dojos I've ever visited where there was an organized drill. Here the kids are learning to do back falling, first from a sitting position, then sideways from a sitting position. One side, the other, flipping from one side to the other. Then they do it from a squatting position. First falling backwards. And you see this little American boy over on the right there. He's kind of klutzy. He's, he's just learning. Then sideways from a squatting position. Then they do it from a standing position. Falling backwards. 
then falling sideways. Start standing, sweep your leg out, slap the mat, then forward falling. You have to do both sides. Your kid did it left side and will do it right. This kid's right and now left. And so they all take turns diving across the floor. These dojos are pretty small. Now this is free practice with the teachers. And the teacher tries to operate at the same level as the kid. Let's the kid throw them, and they throw the kids clean. Just moving around, moving around. Judo in most dojos is just free practice. You don't see too much of organized training. And Ichijima was really very good at this. And frankly, if I hadn't have been at his dojo, I don't know if I would have been a good teacher when I came back to the States. They're really having fun. Now the kids are going to practice with each other. They bow, and they start in. This is soft rondori, soft free practice. You notice they're not really fighting each other. They're practicing letting each other go in and out. This is really good training. If you start fighting all the time, you become stiff. Your technique really suffers. Ichijima was just an outstanding teacher. And they finished practicing. Now all the kids line up to get their picture taken. And here we have Ichijima Sensei, who is seventh degree. And now we will see a modern Kodokan boys and girls judo program. This is the main hall of the new Kodokan. First they bow to each other, the teachers and the students. And then they bow to Sensei Kano. There's a portrait of him on the wall. Now the kids are doing different drills. They just want to have fun. And this builds up their bodies. Here's a group of beginners learning how to do a basic hip throw. And in the background, there's the kids doing mat work. And upstairs, there's another group. They're doing the dragon game, running for warming up. And then we're going to do relays, like games, back and forth, so you can beat each other. Now some other games. Through the tunnel, wheelbarrow, piggyback, hopping over each other. Here they're practicing turnovers. Get on top of an opponent, turn them over. Here's a teacher, Mr. Mukai, teaching a sweeping hip throw. Now there's the students practicing the hip throw. They do a very nice job. And now we'll see kids' judo competition at the Gardena Judo. Good. The main games begin. Quick win. Knockdown. Another way to go. Another three. Quick win. Knockdown and into the mat work. That means hold. That was beautiful. These kids like that. Now visit our club and learn about judo.